Hey, Erin James here with Crafty Housewife Yarns, and I was going to do a quick video for a demo on the Spinolution King Bee Wheel. On, um, <laughs> I'd heard somebody else say, and it was exactly how I felt when I got it, uh, that it's like going from a, like, a tricycle to a 10-speed bike. I definitely felt that way. Um, there's so many gears on it, which is great, and half the reason that it's such an awesome wheel. But, uh, my previous wheel, my first wheel, actually, that I'd gotten was a Lewitt S10, which, uh, super basic <laughs> at, like, three speeds. And I really liked that wheel for many reasons, but, um, yeah, so going from that to, uh, this one with all the different ratios on it, I uh, definitely had to go back and research, like, what do ratios even mean? And uh, what I could gather, and if you want the super official uh, guide on this, you should Google it. But the general idea was that the ratios, the numbers in them are, it's the relationship between the number of times that the, the wheel, the big drive wheel goes around versus how many times the flyer, which is what's actually, like, spinning around the bobbin, you know, it's been in the yarn, what's putting the twist in the yarn, the relationship between, like, how many times the wheel goes around, like, versus how many times the spinner goes around. So, I think the general idea is that the more times that the spinner goes around in a circle, the more twist you're going to have. So, the, um, I don't think, and this is my uneducated opinion, <laughs> I don't think it really is important, or at least I haven't found that it is important to, um, you know, be like, I'm spinning on a 20 to 1 weight ratio. Uh, maybe I'm just lazy. I don't know. I don't think you really need to know what the number is. I think it's important to just find what speed or setting, basically. I would think of it as a setting, like what setting works best for you and is most comfortable for you for different types of yarn that you're spinning. So if you're trying to spin something that is thin, um, you would want it where the flyer went around in circles, you know, a whole bunch, because that's going to help you get extra twist and hold the uh, thin, you know, little strands together, because they need that extra twist. Whereas if you're spinning something like fluffy, like woolen spinning or bulkier spinning, um, you're going to want something that maybe doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't have such a high ratio where the flyer's going around in circles. Um, and then the King B, I think, is cool. Because it's got, like I said, such a unique setup, which I will show here in a second, um, that I like for it kind of set one way for when I'm making singles and then set it another way for when I'm doing, uh, like, two plying them together to kind of get the power going to the right or the left. So anyhow, that's what I'm going to show. That's what this is about, and uh, I hope it's helpful. <laughs> and like I said, if you need something that's uh, super more official, this is probably not the video for you, but if you want some, like you know, real life, I spin on this wheel all the time, uh, my opinions are hacks on it, then, uh, this is it. Okay, first off, this is the King Bee. It's awesome. Um, so this is it, unfolded, Lazy Kate on the side. And, uh, like I said, this is, you can see the petals here. The petals spin this part here with this little crab claw. And then it's got back here three settings, uh, kind of one, two, and then this top one is three, and then it's got these cool little grooves, which I will show you in a minute. You can actually walk the band up very easily on. And then over here on the accelerator, move the yarn's trying to get in the way, you also have three settings, so one, two, three on different sizes there. This is where it folds, so you want to make sure that you know this isn't tangled over here. And then it comes up here to the back, that's got also three settings, so one, two, and three, and then your tension block. So what I have noticed just from personal use is that if I'm spinning singles, this is the top part to me is what uh, tends to make the biggest difference for uh, how this is the flyer, how many times rotations I get out of the flyer. So if I'm doing something and you want it to spin quickly for thinner yarn I would set it down more on the medium or the small one because that's going to give you more rotations and make it uh, on this per each time that this goes around like this will go around more times than this will which will give you more twist on your yarn and then um, my favorite setting for just spinning in general I feel like most people kind of get a favorite setting is uh, I like it on the second one here and then the third one here. 
and I might be totally imagining this, but in this setting, I feel like I get a good bit of power going this way when I'm doing singles. And then when I do two plies and go back this way, I like to, and here I can demo how this works, the little tab. Okay, now that I have the camera in a better angle, when you switch the ratios over, what I like to do is move it, if I'm in a two ply, from the top one there to the middle one, as you see, and then you put the band in the handy little groove here. I kind of hold it with my finger for a minute, and then you can get it going around counterclockwise, and it's really slick design. It actually like walks the band up, so see now it's on this top one. And there's a similar groove right there on this one, so if it's down here, you know the same idea. You put it here, and then rotate it counterclockwise, and it uh, pops the little band up on there for you. So, um, this is how I like to set it up for uh, if I'm two-plying, and once again, it might totally be my imagination, but I feel like when it's on this setting, that with the bigger setting over there, that I'm actually getting, uh, I feel like, more kind of power going that way, uh, which I find handy, you know, when I'm spinning counterclockwise versus clockwise. But I mean, you can totally also still do it this way. This wheel, I felt like there was a bunch of, uh, like there was definite feels in the gears.